So, you're looking for a camera for your YouTube videos, one that's got good autofocus for your face. Well, here's two overkill options, the Sony a7 III and the 5D Mark IV. Which one's better to track your face? So, you're looking for a camera and you've got like thousands of dollars to spend? Why not get a 5D Mark IV or an a7 Mark III? Did you see my hand throw that pine cone out? Oh shit. You're probably wondering why I was holding a pine cone. I don't know. I like holding pine cones. It's got nothing to do with science. Just an overkill test to see which camera is better for autofocus for this hideous creation right here. So here is the non-scientific test of the Canon 5D Mark IV and soon to come the a7 III. How's it tracking my face? You tell me. I'm sorry that you have to see that so close. Gross, I know. Well, did it get me? Am I back? I don't know. Am I back? Oh, you thought I was on that side. See what I did there? But did, did it get me in focus? I don't know. Let's see if it has me in focus now. What if I run at you? Oh, I hear you. I hear you focusing, Gannon. I hear you. But are you focusing correctly? That's the question. Oh, I, I hear you. I hear you making your little USM motor sounds. <laughs> okay. Can you see me? Can you see me? Oh, I hear it. I hear it focusing. I hear you, Cannon. Do you see me, though? Oh, did it get me? Did it get me? Oh. Oh, I came in from the other side. I didn't expect that, did you? Huh. So it's, you can, you can probably see what's happening here. It's focusing on me. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I can't see the camera, but we're going to find out. Aren't we? Aren't we Sony, right? Okay. This is harder than it looks. I'll have to have a lot of cuts in here, right? Oh, hi there, Canon 5D Mark IV, because I clearly can't remember what camera you are. This is my friend, the Sony A7 Mark III. How's it doing right now? You keeping up, Canon? You think you're good enough to roll with? Yeah, that's right. I got a Sony in my hand. It's coming for you. Did it get me? I don't even know if I fully stepped out of frame. Maybe I was still in it and it just looked awkward now. It's possible, but let's find out. Oh, I'm gone. And I'm back. All right, so is it keeping up with me? That's the question. You want to buy an overkill camera for your uh, YouTube videos just so you can crack your face? Maybe it's the 5D Mark IV. If you have a tree in your backyard like that one, that's a money tree. Money grows on it. That's how I buy this camera, or bought this camera. Let's see if it can track my hideous face. Keeping up with me, Canon? Am I losing you? Come on, dual pixel autofocus. You think you got what it takes to take on this guy here? <laughs> Probably. I know I look like a weirdo, I'm jumping on and off the camera, but this is all for you guys. For your overkill cameras for YouTube. Because we all have thousands of dollars to just throw away for a video. That nobody cares if it's got like a shallow depth of field. Or maybe they do. Okay. I don't know how this is working. Is it getting me in focus, out of focus? We'll find out when I play it back on my computer. It may work, maybe it won't. Maybe I should move around more. Oh, I hear, I hear it. And, or maybe that's the pine cone I stepped on. It sounds the same. That's right, Catnin. Your autofocus sounds like a pine cone being stepped on by, by a sandal. 
I'm sponsored by Adidas. I'm gonna get money now. They're gonna pay me because I showed their symbol in my video. Adidas. Okay, now I'm filming with the A7 III and this is the 5D Mark IV. Um, both cameras were set to f4 at ISO 250 and 150th shutter at 24 frames per second and they're set to auto white balance this is not a white balance or color test it's an autofocus test i don't know why i'm talking this much because you don't care i don't care either let's redo that okay so now you're looking at the a7 mark iii how is it tracking good bad horrible i don't know we'll find out i can't see the screen Oh, I'm sorry I put you through that, YouTube, or Instagram, or whatever this platform is. No one wants to see this very close. Not even me. I'm probably still in the frame. How's the autofocus? Is it getting tripped up? Or is it doing a good job? I don't know. I can't see the camera. Maybe if Sony gave us a tilty, flippy screen, we could see that but maybe I couldn't because it's probably too far away still to tell. But I'm probably still in the frame. I don't know. Probably just looks awkward if I just like jump right here. I think I'm out, but I'm still there. Okay, so. I know I suck. I can't do this. How is this tracking? Good? Bad? Useless? Or is it fantastic? I don't know. We're gonna find out. You tell me. Post it in the comments. What do you think is better? Do you like the Canon better or do you like the Sony better? I don't know. I've been looking at them both. Um, again, don't critique the colors because this is not about the colors. This is about the autofocus. And for overkill YouTube video cameras. I, I, I don't know. I thought this looked better for some reason. Maybe it's just the screen. I won't know until I put it on the computer. I don't know. The Canon just seemed to look better. Canon Color Science. Canon, you should like sponsor me. I gave you a good shout out. Or Sony. Whoever wants to give me money, that'll be my favorite camera. I think I just hit my lav mic, so it's going to probably glitch my audio. So... So which camera is better? Is it the Sony or is it the Canon? Which one do I think is better? Well, it depends. If Sony sends me some money, then it's the Sony. If it Canon sends me some sponsorship money, then the Canon. I'll put you to the test somehow. I'll get someone behind the camera and mangle it all up, right? How's it tracking my face? Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know, I can't, I can't tell. I don't have a tilty flippy screen. Well, even if I did, I probably still wouldn't be able to tell because I'm too far away from the camera. I'm actually, I could touch the lens now. That's, that's arm's length away from the camera. Now I'm like two arm lengths away from the camera. I'm at 35 mil. And there's random kids making noise in the background. Probably wondering what the hell I'm doing, hopping in and out. But anyway, let me know what you think. Do you like the Canon better or do you like the Sony better? How is this? Is it better? Is it worse? You tell me. It might be amazing. It might be horrible. I can't tell. I can't see the screen. But I'll just keep moving, keep talking. Because as you know, the more we talk, the better the autofocus systems on both of these cameras work because they got talking algorithms built into them. Little known fact. Look into it. Anyway, let's see how that works. Let me know what you think is better in the comments once again. Do you like the 5D Mark IV autofocus better? Or the Sony A7 III? Um, I don't know until I, I won't, I won't know until I put it on the computer. But yeah, just comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, if it's helpful, give me a thumbs up. If it sucks, which it probably does, give me a thumbs down. Yeah, see you in the next one, if there is a next one. I might not even post this. I might be like, what am I doing? 
just give up on life altogether, right? Bye. There you have it, the 5D Mark IV versus the Sony a7 III. Let me know which one you think is better. I haven't formed an, an opinion yet, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think. And if you have any um, thoughts on future videos I should make, let me know in the comments below. And if this was helpful at all in its non-scientific way, let me know. Or if there's ways I can improve, I'd be interested to hear it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and help me out. Um, my subscriber count is so low, I could use a few more supporters on this channel, which just started. Well, didn't just start, but I'm just restarting it, I guess. Stay tuned for more future videos. I just quit now. F it. Done. Why do I do this?